hello everyone and welcome to a brand new reading vlog um i woke up i worked out already so i'm starting my day on the right foot i showered got myself dressed i put on a face of makeup because dan and i are going to his parents house later on in the evening because we were invited for dinner i think his mom is going to be making a pot roast which sounds so freaking good but that won't be until later i don't know if i'll film that because filming in front of other people is very uncomfortable because I don't know if they want to be filmed or not. Maybe I'll film the food because we all want to see that. But let's go ahead and talk about um, what I plan on reading this week because there's only a few days. My cat is crying on her little hammock. Um, there's only a few days left in September. What? If you saw my last reading vlog, then you know that I finished lavender house which was an enjoyable read and i mentioned in that video that i was currently in the middle of rumination and i would like to finish this book uh before october so i can wrap it up in my september uh reading wrap up video but i'm not satisfied i feel like i need to finish this book and maybe pick out a shorter book to read over the weekend so there are exactly four days left in september Mm, I don't know if I can do it. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll just focus on finishing this book first and then we will see if I have time to pick up um, a new book because there is one that's kind of standing out to me and I'll show you. So I just recently got to this book in the mail. It is Dowry of Blood. Um, it's really short and it seems like it would be like a really fast read. It's about vampires. Um, perfect for like the Halloween season. And yes, this book would be perfect for like an October reading vlog, but I'm in the mood for it now. It'll probably be in my next reading vlog if it's not in this one. We will see. Okay, so before we get more into this vlog, I have a really cool package to show you. And it is this. Do you know what it is? Take your guess in the comments. Okay, I'll tell you. It is a Kerbal from a company in Korea who is sponsoring today's video. So they sent this over. It's a chair insert to help you with your posture, which in turn will help you with back pain. Listen, I am getting old and as someone who carried a really heavy backpack in school and I had it hanging super low too, I am feeling it now. And I slouch really badly. I always have. I sit at a desk most of the day and I find myself looking like the shrimp emoji. Well, this is designed to help you maintain proper posture and prevent spine and back pain. And what's cool about it is you can actually sit on the floor like while I am playing with my cat and it's going to keep me upright. So it's versatile, the cushions are really comfortable, it's wide enough for all the junk that is in my trunk. I know it's a bit of a novelty item but it actually works and I recommend it. So if you are looking to get yourself one of these, check the link down below in the description box. It will take you to their Amazon page. Again, click the link in the description box. Thanks again Kerbal for sponsoring today's video. Anyways, um, I really want to show you something cool that's in this ruination book. So let me turn you around. I don't have the dust jacket on it. So this book is the very first League of Legends novel and um, I am absolutely loving it. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I truly do not think you need to know anything about League of Legends to enjoy this. It's reading like a normal fantasy standalone. Like you're dropped into a fantasy world so of course you're going to be a little bit confused. There's a lot of terms that are being thrown at you. But like, that's any fantasy novel. I have this upside down. And I think the author is throwing in information for you um, very nicely. No info dumping. It's just like integrated into the writing. I don't know. I've, I've just been loving it. So first off, we have this really cool map. And I think there's a second map as well. Is there? Or am I wrong? Am I just crazy? Oh, no, it's right here. <laughs> right here. So we have two maps. So that helps a lot with locations you might not understand. So... That's great. And then we have this like family, our royal family tree. So the two main characters that we're following is Callista and Vigo. Now at the very beginning of this book, we are seeing Vigo becoming king and Callista is his niece. So even though Vigo is Callista's uncle, he is very, very young. I think he's only 21. So they kind of act like brother and sister a little bit. Do you guys want to see something insane? I shared this on Instagram and it got a lot of attention. I'm gonna show it on the vlogs. Are you ready for this? Yeah, there's no point in my hand at this point. <sighs> Darren finally got some new bookshelves. Only two for now. Obviously, there's a lot more room for like three or four. He unpacked all of his manga finally. It is a literal mountain. 
literally a mountain <laughs> of manga. And there's more. Trust me, there's more. He has put some on the shelf. This, I, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain this. How does one organize this? This is chaos. <laughs> okay, this would actually make a good thumbnail, like right here. Here you go, get a good scope of these books. Basic taste, look at this. These aren't going to stay here for long. It's not bothering me or anything. Um, it's not his fault that um, it took him a little bit to get more bookshelves in, but um, he's gonna organize these tonight. Maybe I'll film a few clips of that um, if he lets me, if he wants to be in the vlog. Because there is so much here. He needs another bookshelf, I think. So the sun has come out and Soba seems to be very happy about that. <laughs> oh, she is out. Are you alive? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you coming to me? Come on. Oh, okay. Maybe she wasn't quite happy about the sun because she clearly got too hot. I just realized that I'm matching my pre-workout, which I made this pre-workout uh, before I worked out to get myself pumped and ready to, you know, get some gains and lift those weights. You know, typical bro things. And I barely touched my pre-workout, so... I need to chug this before it's like too late into the evening or I'm gonna be wired. If you're wondering what flavor it is, um, it's one of my favorite Bomar Nutrition flavors, which is strawberry kiwi. Um, one of my favorite flavors of their uh, pre-workout. It does have caffeine in it. Um, I'm not sure if they have a stem-free uh, version. They might. You might have to go check. But seriously, it just disappears when I put it in front of me. <laughs> yes. Jax! Jax! Come here! Come here! Come here! <laughs> Hi, Jaxie boy. Hi, Jaxie boy. Hey, don't. Oh. You wanna come in? Hi, baby boy. Hi, baby boy. You wanna go here? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Hey, Chella. A sock, nice. Get it, Chella. Oh. Oh, hey, watch it the face. Well, well, we'll just get a rain check for when we're actually available. All of our snacks are in the background. In your tums, because you're old. So we are back from Darren's parents' house. Um, I probably barely filmed anything. Um, it's still very awkward to film in front of people, even though I like, I brought my phone to film and not like a big giant camera because that would just make it worse, but good enough. Even filming in front of Darren right now, like gives me the heebie-jeebies a little bit. We were also invited to a hockey game tomorrow. So that's just more content. So expect that probably in the next couple seconds. <laughs> Anyways, Darren's gonna play the game. I am going to get some reading done. I really want to get through Ruination a little bit more. Um, at least we're past page 100. But yeah, I'll update you later. Hello everyone. So it's the next day and um, I'm just gonna straighten my hair really quick or fry it off I should say. So I ended up getting to page 200 last night um, in Ruination which is far more than my page 100 goal which I'm very happy about. I am just loving this book so so much it actually has like five star potential oh by the way my hair is already pretty straight i should mention i straightened it yesterday but we are going to a hockey game tonight so i'm just like refreshing it up Hey, no. 
No. No, let go. Let go. Let's go. Come on. You ready? Be careful. <laughs> oh, it got dark. It is only 56 degrees outside today, which is very cold. That's why I'm in a hoodie. Um, and also, I was bundled up in a blanket. Anyways, I want to talk a little bit about ruination it's a five star read for me right now i actually had to put a little tab because there was an oh shit moment and i was like oh my god i need to like tab this page because it like shit got real <laughs> truly if you are looking for a high stakes fantasy like where there are so many things on the line and also like the mystery is so captivating and so compelling calista is tasked to Find this mysterious island that is like a myth, like a legend that no one has ever found. And Vigo is going absolutely insane. Like, please go to go find this island where I think the cure um, to the disease that my wife has is there. And Calista, like, okay, like, sure. I, I, I mean, I, I totally don't believe you. I don't think it's there. She doesn't believe in this island at all. But we have another perspective in this book, and this perspective resides on this island. So the reader knows it exists and you just desperately want these characters that you love because i absolutely adore them so far to succeed <laughs> so i'm going to read more of this i think we're also going out to eat later um before the hockey game it's the blue jackets game it's a preseason game so like not too important i'm not big into hockey either i am way more of a football person like give me football all day i will watch it all day sunday um, Monday and the Thursday night games like I am there but hockey mm, It's fun to watch in person, especially the Blue Jacket Stadium. I'll film a little bit while I'm there on my phone I'm going to read more of this book and uh, I'll see you in a bit No, I said he did <laughs> oh my shame, my pile of shame. <laughs> Vlog footage. Yeah. Hello, so I feel like this is one of my most unorganized vlogs ever, but hey, maybe that's what made it more fun. You gotta let me know in the comments um, if it was annoyingly disorganized. I will try my best next time. <laughs> but anyways, it is time to give you my little rapid fire mini review for Ruination because I finished it. I'll be reviewing it properly in my next reading wrap up because this vlog is long enough, but wow, this shocked me in more ways than one. The story itself was so addicting as we see this very young man who just becomes king and he has a bit of an ego on him. Um, he doesn't quite understand how things work. He definitely runs into battles without thinking but he's also like really lovable I don't know I just really love his character he's very caring and Callista knows that even if others don't and I think Callista herself if you're looking for a fantasy with a strong independent female character like a fantastic female lead this is the book for you she is amazing she is smart and capable she's basically Vigo's advisor military general she's basically guiding him through this whole like king role and that Vigo was thrown into so Vigo has a wife and she is this little lovely lady who is adorable and sweet and uh, we see this battle being fought at the beginning and they're celebrating the victory at this feast and suddenly assassins appear and unfortunately Vigo's wife is nicked by one of the daggers um, which is infused with this poison magic in fact the dagger 
um, turns into ash after it hits the ground and she becomes extremely ill. And this makes Vigo go a little crazy and desperate to save his wife so he tasks Callista to find a cure which is rumored to be on this island that is supposed to be a myth. Like Vigo thinks they're real and he needs her to go find uh, the island while also a lot of political drama is happening in the background. The ending to this blew my freaking mind. I did not see it coming. The title is very fitting as it um, it did quite ruin me. <laughs> I loved this book and I didn't think that was going to be the case. So yeah, I highly, highly recommend checking this out if you can. You do not need to have played League of Legends or even have watched um, Arcane, which is the TV series. You don't need any of that. I can officially confirm that. It reads like a normal fantasy novel. Okay, so that is going to be the end of this vlog. Again, I will be um, thoroughly reviewing this book in my September reading wrap up, which should be up this week. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, thanks again, Kerbal, for sponsoring today's video if you would like your own uh, back support, which I'm currently using right now. You can't even see it. It is keeping me upright and back pain free, which I highly recommend checking out if that is something you're looking for. Like this video, it helps me out, and subscribe if you haven't. I upload videos every single week and I've been uploading a vlog, so if this is the type of content that you enjoy, um, I've been trying to upload them weekly. So until we meet again, happy reading.